Hey y'all, how you doing today? Just wanted to uh, take you through my day. Just going to do some mowing and then I'm gonna make some, um, hopefully ant repellent that I could put on the ant piles to get those out of the yard. Um, and then we don't have to worry about ants as much. Um, also I want to, also I want to, uh, try to fill in that hole. Sorry, I already did a little bit of mowing. Um, I do want to fill in a little bit of that hole um, from the pipe and that way we don't have to worry about it and we can um, let Colt run around and run free. Hopefully he doesn't mess with it. So we'll just have to keep an eye on that. And as Simber said in the video um, yesterday, that we are um, on Monday going to be doing the home med home medicine summit, and we're going to be doing that Monday through the following Monday, I believe. It's seven days, so Monday through Sunday, um, and so our videos probably will be short, but we will be doing at least some videos through that week and hopefully you guys sign up i'll leave a link for that video up there and you can go to the description on that video and be able to sign up i'll also put a link in the description below so you can also use that link Alright, so I had to change up my plans this evening, um, instead of doing the hole and the, in, uh, the ant, the ant spray that I'd be making, um, that would kill the ants and hopefully get rid of them, <clears throat> I had something happen while I was feeding the goats, and it ended up being, um, a swarm of bees because when I started heading over to the rabbit noise that I was hearing when I, when I was going to get water for the goats uh, there was just a whole bunch of bees the direction I was going so I had to go around the other way around the house and sure enough there was bees over there and I had to figure out a way to get them away from the rabbit because they were stinging her and so I ended up getting the water hose and spraying um, her down and them away from her. And that seemed to work. Um, but she did get a lot of stings. And we just hope that everything will go well. Um, we were able to um, capture a little bit of footage after Simber got home seeing how she was doing. So there's the bunny. Ooh. Yep, she's got some swelling. On the eye. Yeah. Oh, sweetie girl. Her fur looks like that because we were spraying her down and water, trying yeah. to spray the bees off of her with water from the water hose. But she may have gotten stung on the eye. Go ahead and give her her feet. I didn't want to make too much noise while you were filming. So Justin was saying that the swarm was up in the tree, like way up high. But by the time I got home, we couldn't see it anymore. And I don't know, this was just a very weird incident because um, 
usually when bees, honeybees swarm, they're not very aggressive because they don't have um, nectar or honey or pollen or brood to, uh, to defend. So the only thing we can figure is maybe they were on a branch and it somehow fell and hit the top of the rabbit's cage and when the bees hit the cage they just went into attack mode because obviously she couldn't do anything to them. But we don't see any evidence of them now. We can check again in the morning but for now it's just time to feed rabbits. What was the oh my gosh for because I don't know what you were looking at. She had at least a dozen stingers in one ear and she had not quite as many in the other and I think she got stung on both eyelids and so her eyelids are swollen shut because there was just so much venom and of course when I took the stingers out the venom sacs were already emptied so she had the full potency mm -hmm. of all those stings. I didn't see any honeybees on the ground um, they, but they could have crawled away because usually when they sting something the venom sac is there. So I didn't see any honeybees on the ground but that's not necessarily weird because um, the bees once they sting and leave the venom sac um, they can crawl off and they'll crawl a ways before they actually die. Um, that is one of the things about honeybees. Majority of time they can only sting once because of the barb at the end of their stinger, it stick, it stays in whatever it is they stung. So when they try to get away, it basically rips the stinger and venom sac off of them. And so of course they're sacrificing themselves for that sting. Whereas something like wasps doesn't have that barb on the end of their stinger, so they can sting multiple times. But when there's enough of them, you have this issue where um, there's a lot of venom that was in was injected and um, and so she's swelling her body's reacting so we'll see if her body can overcome it we don't have anything like an EpiPen um, and I don't know of anything else I mean the only thing I can think of is if we put something like vitamin C in her water but honestly right now she's not eating or drinking she's just staying still letting her body try to you know heal on its own so maybe tomorrow if she starts moving around and starts eating and drinking we'll um, see about putting some stuff in her water to help uh, boost her immune system to help her out but other than that tonight i don't know that there's really much we can do i mean i took the stingers that i saw out of her ears but again the venom sacs had already pumped all the venom into her ears so the weird thing was her ears weren't swollen so apparently the swelling is going to happen like around her face and such <sighs> poor bunny poor bunny boo she was an innocent victim in all that all right so there are honeybees can you bring the light closer Hope you guys have a blessed day, and we'll catch you guys tomorrow. Hey, Clodhoppers! Thanks for watching the video. Push the thumbs up to like the video. Also, hit that subscribe button, also the bell, so that you can get notifications when our videos come out. Check us out on our social media pages, too. We have Facebook and Pinterest, and soon we'll have Instagram. The links are below. Bye, y'all. Bye. <laughs> Good job.